indirect process bath heaters, also known as water bath heaters, principles of operation. Indirect process bath heaters are used for all types of low temperature process heating, such as Joule Thompson heating of natural gas or viscosity reduction heating for heavy crude oil. Gaseous or liquid fuels are combusted in a burner and the resulting hot gases make several passes within the fire tube. Depending on the specifics of an application, two types of fire tubes are offered, serpentine and single flue multiple return. The serpentine fire tube is a single continuous tube that passes back and forth throughout the heater vessel. In some cases, the tube diameter is reduced as the flue gas passes through the fire tube. Serpentine fire tubes are simple with relatively few welded connections, but require ample space within the heater to allow for return bends. The single flue multiple return fire tube uses a large single pass together with several smaller diameter return passes. This design is more compact but also more complex to build. Heat energy is transferred from the fire tube to the bath fluid. Water and water glycol solutions are used for bath operating temperatures up to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Heat transfer salts can be used for bath operating temperatures up to 800 degrees Fahrenheit. Natural convection creates fluid circulation within the vessel due to the density variation between the hot and cold bath fluid. Bath fluid transfers heat energy to the process heating coil. The coil then heats up the process fluid inside. External shell insulation keeps the heat inside the vessel. The Sigma Thermal Bath Heater design eliminates the potential of direct contact between the products of combustion and the user process. This allows safe operation for combustible or hazardous processes and eliminates concerns with excessive film temperatures for temperature sensitive processes. These systems also have flexible operating temperature and pressure ranges. Low temperature application keeps heater operating costs low. Operating under high pressure increases the operating temperature range, but also increases the cost. Makeup water is not needed. Therefore, there is no energy loss, steam traps, or blowdown. This saves in maintenance and energy costs relative to typical open loop steam systems. There are many burner and fuel source options to meet a wide variety of requirements. Forced draft fire tube burners can be utilized for high efficiency and low emissions requirements, and traditional natural draft burners are available for locations with electricity restrictions. Since changing the temperature of an entire water bath is a relatively slow process, bypass valves can be added to the system to respond more quickly to process changes. Cooler inlet fluid is diverted to the outlet fluid stream to quickly achieve the desired temperature change. Temperature is measured downstream of the hot cold mix point and the bypass valves are modulated to achieve the desired temperature. Sigma Thermal engineers are process heating experts. Let our pros determine the best way to solve your heating challenges. Contact us today.